<clears throat> so, my lovely ones, thank you very much for joining in. If you are joining in right now, I am live with you here and I'm in a slightly different location. <laughs> different location and as I, I'm noticing as I, I'm just going to have a little chit chat here and then see if anybody joins in or I will just have my own little chit chat here and I'm noticing I managed to position my head right in the middle of the screen so I think it's a quite an achievement right now so, <laughs> so I hope you are very very well now I am scrolling down on my double screen here so I can see that I, it is live where I am or what I'm doing right now. Now it's quite interesting because all day I had the, the, the energy that I need to come here and talk to you about something. But as I was setting myself up here, my sensation is that I need to work with Anna Frank for some reason. The energy is, I feel is next to me. So I don't know what is going to come forward right now as I'm talking because I wanted to talk to you about some cards. I wanted to bring you some cards. And then a little quote I read today, which I found very, very powerful. So I think I'm just going to go along with that and let's see, we will see what else is going to come to me. And I just want to make sure that I am alive. That's why I'm scrolling on the other, the other device I have here. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm, it looks like I'm here. Okay. Um, up here, so yeah, thanks very much for being here. So I'm just waiting for a minute or two or a second or two while I'm scrolling so I'm able to read messages. So what I want to do right now, and I hope you are all well, I think I need to sit a little bit taller because my head is <laughs> sinking a little bit lower, lower in the screen. Now, I hope I'm not going to disappear, but here we go. It's Saturday in my time, the very first Saturday, the very first weekend in December 2021. And I think um, in uh, next week, uh, Tuesday on the Asphalt Radio Network show, I'm going to talk about December and what December really means to me. So, but I don't want to talk about that right now. So I really hope that you are all very well. And while I'm saying it's Saturday, now this morning I had a conversation, a very short conversation with a very good friend of mine. And I feel that you will hear about those kind of conversations a little bit later as well. Um, and then the whole conversation just was created because that was, a thought came to me and then that's my usually, or sometimes, not most, not, not always, but sometimes that's my conversation on Saturday morning. Saturday morning as I wake up, I could immediately think of what is going to happen during the week and what is going to go well and what might not go well and where I'm ending up by Sunday evening and how I will feel and how I will think by the time Sunday evening comes. So that's, that has been over, over time a big conversation for me and uh, the realization that actually I can catch myself and I need to catch myself straight, straight, uh, straight into, you know, immediately on Saturday morning or even Friday evening when I have conversations about what is happening over the weekend and so on or how I am able to do everything what I want to do. So as you hear, my big, one of my big conversations, I'm still getting my awareness and working on it, is time. time, And it's, it's quite fascinating because when I work spiritually, then time is not there. You know, that dimension is not important because we are moving from one dimension to another. Whether I'm channeling and working with your grand, granddads and your moms and all different family members and friends and all those frequencies in the spirit world, or we are working with higher dimensional beings or with angels or, or anything really, or this from the highest of the highest. So time is not relevant. If I'm going forward in my time and then bring, bring messages from that space, from that dimension, it's not a problem when we are um, doing time traveling in a sense. Or when I go back to the 14th century or when there is something something coming to me immediately when I'm walking through my town or I could be anywhere and suddenly I'm in a different dimension and then I'm present to the, the, the energies of the building or the people who live there and we can go through different centuries in that sense if we take time as a linear thing, you know. 
But when it comes to my personal life, Susanna's life, Saturday morning is wow. Okay, so what 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 can I do? What can I what can I really accomplish? Or what is going to be my frequency over the weekend? And how will I feel by the end of the weekend? So that is sometimes still a conversation for me. So the best thing is, and I need to train myself, and I'm training myself, and I'm working on on the whole conversation is not having that conversation. So it means having awareness. So immediately Saturday morning, thinking about that actually, actually, whatever I'm going to achieve, like I'm a doer, okay, I'm a doer, so I have to achieve things, I have to have complete, you know, list, list of things, and then I have to have the tick, 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 even if I'm not writing things down, but I have to have a mental tick, and that might mean that I will be satisfied with everything by the end of the weekend, so, because I'm a doer, okay. That's one aspect of as a aspect of me and aspect of all of us really, if we are a doer as, as a human being. But I have to have that awareness that I need to catch myself, and then knowing that whatever everything is taking or whatever I'm doing or creating for myself, this is what I need to experience in that very moment, and being peace with that and have. Having a loving, loving space for myself, holding that space, having compassion, compassion for myself and towards myself, and not being, making myself wrong if I'm not doing it or if I have not achieved that. So any of those time conversations, and it's beautiful because when the moment of awareness comes, then it it, it uh, dissolves itself. The whole whole uh, um, that kind of conversation is just melting itself away. And the only thing what we can do is to have awareness. So on a personal level, I figured this one out and then I'm working at it. Even when I'm thinking, oh, I have to do a lot of things and I'm a doer and got a lot of ideas and, and so on. Easy into life, easy into life. And that's quite beautiful because this morning when I had a little chat with this wonderful friend of mine, we were messaging and writing to each other. This conversation came up again and having the, the having the awareness. So you will hear more about this as well. And then a little bit later, you see there are no coincidences. A little bit later, this book came to me, A Oneness with All Life. This is not my personal copy. I picked it up ages ago from the library, library from Eckhart Tolle. This book, this beautiful book. And then as I said, that. A little bit earlier, sat down, okay, okay, I just read the introduction, you know, how it gives you the idea, how you read the book, so you don't read the whole book, you just read the little passage here and there. And then I immediately, as I was just going through the book, my my attention went to page 105, you know, and then 105, page 105 here in this book, it says, Actually, you know, after this, when I have this little, little chat with you, I'm going to type it out because it's quite important and quite interesting. So this is what it says. Be alert. If there is awareness in you, you will be able to recognize the voice in your head for what it is. An old thought conditioned by the past. If there is awareness in you, you no longer need to believe in every thought you think. It's an old thought no more. Awareness means presence, and only presence can dissolve the unconscious past in you. And when I was reading this, it really struck, the, the, the middle section really struck a chord in me, because when it says, if there is awareness in you, like I am training myself and catching myself when I'm going off with my thoughts, so it means I have the awareness to bring myself back to myself. You no longer need to believe in every thought you think. And this, I thought, oh my goodness me, I know this very well, but I had to read it for the moment that you no, long, you no longer need to believe in every thought you think. And then you see, I'm going to think about this, I'm going to meditate on this, I'm going to, I think, carry around, carry this passage around with me, because that's, that really resonated. But then just think about it, that when you have a thought, you can catch yourself with that thought, but then you don't have to believe it, that it is the reality, you know, that thought, but you are just creating for yourself or entertaining yourself with, you know. You no longer need to believe in every thought you think. And ever since, when I read this little passage here a few hours ago, my thought was, when I had a thought, then I caught myself 
is it what I really believe that is a thought I need to entertain myself with or is it really important so having a little little passages like this gives a slightly different different perspective on everything you know so I just thought I'm going to share it with you and then a little bit later I'm going to type it up with you for you to see and then take it as a reference you know so this is oneness with all from Eckhart Tolle so it's hope it resonated if not maybe it will resonate another time but then I think that if you are like me a doer and then you have to have you, you've got not have to have but you have list you have lists then then um, I think it's, it's good to have that awareness so here we go or work with the awareness all the time because that is the only thing what we can have or what we can do or what we can be in fact now what I'm going to do I'm going to bring cards okay so I've got the the what are these you know these cards okay <laughs> what are cards so I'm going to bring you five cards okay five cards five cards and in a way that if you have a thought think about your thought think about your question uh, and let's see where we are going feel free to scroll down on my page if you are listening on my facebook page for the other notes and other um, things what i put out here if you are listening on my youtube channel thanks very much for tuning in feel free to like and share the page even if you even if you see only a few things there because as we are moving forward i'm not going to tell you what you are going to find on my on my youtube page not yet but there is i think it feels like there is going to be more things happening there uh, there as well i need to acknowledge also anna frank's energy and then i need to make this quicker and then what oh my goodness me what she's saying she's always on my left side and i haven't had a conversation with her for quite some time i had her mother i think two or three weeks ago but then her energy is coming is coming forward and what she's saying on a frank on a frank that i need to i need to be doing my cards quicker here and then just getting get it out of the way because there are much more important conversations which need to be addressed and she is asking for space to speak so oh i don't know what i'm going to do here but here we go i'm just going to in fact what she's saying that uh, you are not going to do the cards for long meaning that it's not what i need to really be doing doing my cards oh it's my goodness it's... but then since that is your since that is your reality and that is what you think and what you believe people need then you need to do it but then you are not going to do it for long because that is not the mission and that is that is not your purpose that you are here and then not the purpose why you are talking to the audience here i have a sense that there will be some big conversations coming again like we had before and then what she's also saying to me that that i have been waiting for quite some time quite patiently which is quite funny because i feel her her energy um like ha having a little giggle that having having waited for me as this person to to notice her energy and she's she's saying to us that the last time she spoke to us or since the last time she spoke to us in may she has been continue she had continued with her studies and has looked into has looked into a few things she did not have the time and opportunity but then she used the time quite quite uh, um quite uh, what is the word she she did not she did not waste time she was quite studious that is what she's saying since the last time she spoke with us and uh, she's created she's created she's giving me the word delegate you know like giving me a delegate that um, she, it's not just by herself who is going to talk but then she's part of her she's part of her consciousness and then in that consciousness in that circle there are other energies which are higher frequency even higher frequency than her energy which is joining which is going to join her in unity when the time is right for her to speak again so i'm going to do the cards here but i feel that that i will probably start working or she wants to do more work more, more work more work 
with us as well talking about the heart energy okay a card wanted to come out memories of love what she's showing me here and the energy is that helping to wipe away the helping to wipe away the tears helping to wipe away the tears and then um, um okay the sensation is that she's coming forward as part of a team a team of consciousness because personally she cannot do all the work so that she is now part of a consciousness and then from that frequency they are they are able to reach more people and then what she's saying that people humanity the human beings they have to they have to raise their frequencies so that the real work can be can be can be done the real work can start they are not able to start the real work until until the, those tears are still there there has to be a little bit quieter frequencies on the earth more settled and more balanced because it's not that they it's not that they want to work with one or two individuals or a selected group of people but then they want to work with everybody but right now there are all the spikes all the all the upheavals on the surface of the earth and then it is getting or it has been out of balance and it's getting out of balance and then what they are asking us to to remain as calm okay to remember our purpose to remain as purposeful as we can and then it's day and night that work is to be done day and night and just like how she was or she has been studious since the last time she spoke to us in may we need to be studious and we need to discipline ourselves in a way how we are we are in our heart center and how we are working what is within our heart heart energy and because what she's saying what she's showing me here is that 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 a lot of clearing has been done in the on the heart section the heart frequency um, for many many people and then that continues to happen because the way they want to help is through the heart they are working with the heart heart frequency so it's not that they are giving giving um, giving us humans thoughts and an understanding but then the way they have is through our hearts and then we need to find the the harmony within our hearts and then through that through that process they will be able to help to to work with the balance to keep the balance and work towards creating balance through everyone's heart energy we do not need to be fearful we do not need to fear anything and then that will be that will bring a lot of revelations for a lot of people and then even if people find it quite an abstract or quite quite difficult to 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 grasp and understand that reality what they will be experiencing we do not need to fear fear they are working through the heart her energy is he's um uh, she is not coming forward as 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 one individual not 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 as one individual but she feels that she needs to be part of that consciousness and then from that realm because the frequency is higher there is much higher she can she can have that is that is her aim to 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 have um Even when people think that they are being pulled in one direction by their ears or another direction by another ear, people have to have that experience when they are being pulled into one direction. And and there is that every human has that limit, limited, a limited um, path. It feels like a, being limited that nobody is going to go off limit. Okay, so even if we are pulled. In one direction with one ear and another we still within our parameters we still within the parameters okay um, um, I, 
I feel this is what she wanted to show us for the very moment because her energy and then the old energy is stepping back, um, stepping back. And then the sensation is that learning, learning how she can communicate to us and can continue communicating to us through or with that dimension where she is, is like part of part of a, a larger frequency, not just her indi individual frequency as Anna Frank. Yeah. Oh, she's talking about a a, um, a book in in fact her diary. And then I need to look up one one two, the number one one two in the diary. That is one one two and one one five. That is what I need to look up. Um, it's, it's a shame I did not bring it here with me, but then I have to look up one 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 two and one one five, and then also one two one. The page is one two one in her diary. Okay. Um, and then she's acknowledging that that uh, she was uh, she was acknowledged. She's acknowledging that she was hurt here because right now that is a that that is a. Um, an exercise for her, how she can come forward from a higher dimension, not just as a, her individual self. And then she continues, she wishes to continue to serve humanity and bring everything what we need right now. Um, and <coughs> encouraging us to work with our heart energies. And then just a final reminder that we do not need to be fearful of anything when we are working in our heart memories memories have not uh, memories are not lost memories are not lost but but uh, uh, we need to watch not to get lost in our own memories just like how she is not lo losing cause herself and she she did not she you know she did not lose herself in her memories her memories are there what she experienced but then she did not lose herself. The memories are not lost and she is not lost in her memories. And then because of that, she can, she could move, she, she was able to move forward and she can do what she is doing right now and what she wants to do right now. And similarly, uh, to, for us humans that don't get lost in your memories, don't get lost in your memories. You, and then also your memories will not get lost. That two meanings here. Don't get lost in your memories. And your memories, just because you feel that your memories might be lost if you are not paying attention to your memories, but your memories are there. You know, what she's showing me is that, you know, like how people use the iCloud and cloud system, you know, to, to, to keep information there. Dimensionally, your memories are being kept in that dimension. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful what what I'm what she's showing because the memories what we experience here as humans, they are part of us. But then we don't have to, we don't need to, and we don't have to get lost in our memories. Their memories are separate from us, and they are in a different dimension being stored for us not in the dimension, even in, in this dimension where we experience ourselves as humans, even if we feel, even if we think this is where we are with our memories, but our memories are looked after for ourselves in a different dimension, like a cloud, you know, like a bundle of thing, energy, energy, and it's, it's outside of us, it's outside of us, it's easily accessible, it's easily accessible, but then they are keeping it in a different dimension and that's going to be available for us when we go back to to higher frequency, when we go back to consciousness and until now. And then that's going to be joy for us because we are going to meet our memories and, and that's going to be a joyful moment. And then she's showing me that that was a joyful moment for her. When she returned, she met her own memories in energy and that was very she felt very proud of the moment when she met her own memories and then she could experience the frequencies but by the time she returned to consciousness the memories she could observe her memories objectively she was observing her memories 
but then she knew and acknowledged that her memories were separate from from her what i want to say separate from us our memories are separate from us and then immediately when she passed over this is what she's showing immediately when she passed over she was able to observe her own memories and then in that way was able to progress and move forward in the dimension where she found herself uh, and then she also knows from her dimension she also, also knows and always knows where to find her own memories because from her for in her dimension she knows the access how to access her own memories because it's being kept in a different dimension but then she knows that where she is in that in that dimension she does not need her memories but then she knows where they are and she's able to reflect objectively on her on her memories and she's saying that it's going to be everyone's path everyone's route that when we pass back go back to consciousness then that the, our memories are going to be there all our memories nothing is being lost, nothing is being taken away and added to, and then exactly how the experience was taken in the earth life, this is how we will be able to meet our memories. If we really want to hang on to the word memories, that is what she's saying. Uh, it's, there's a this sensation about how the word memories are being used, the memories. Um, and then what she say that you will see that when you pass over, you will see that you will not have that attachment to your own memories, but then you will be, you will feel quite proud of them. Like I was feeling proud of my own memories, but then I'm I have recognized and I'm recognizing that I am, I do not need to be, I, I'm not, I, I do not need to, I do not need to have those memories to feel complete because I am already complete. And the sensation is that the moment when she passed over, that was the time when she felt how complete she was. And then that was the moment when she felt that she was always complete. But even but in her human experience, human life, she did not know that. And she could not know that, that she was always complete. But in the moment of passing, she immediately knew that she was already complete and she was always or she was always already complete complete that was a big awakening for her to recognize this and and that, that as if you know the sensation is that that was a ticket for her to the next next consciousness that the moment when she passed that she that was a realization and th th that gave her a very different energy and very different frequency the color of what she's showing me for that frequency was white and pink pink what she's showing uh, um, she does not have any regret when she's looking back on her own on her memories she doesn't have any regret and what she's also showing me that those people who are passing she is helping those people from her dimension, she's helping those people to meet their memories. And she is she's staying, sitting, staying with those souls who, who want to spend a little bit longer time with their memories because there are some souls who, who still want to experience the sadness, that frequency, the sadness. And then she says that she, people cannot, well, not people, conscious, um, souls, what is the word? Doesn't matter what the word, but then their souls cannot move forward until they feel the being complete, and until they release that sadness and work through the sadness because of their memories. There is a, the energy is talking about attachment, attachment, and it's uh, what you're saying. That's a gray area for humanity it's a gray area and then she hasn't found she hasn't found the explanation and uh, the the energy to to heal humanity as such altogether when it comes to the question of attachment 
because she's witnessing those souls who have passed over and then still feel the sadness because of their memories, but then still, still, still want to experience the sadness, but then that is their learning. But, but she believes that everybody will, everybody or all the souls will finally move forward because they recognize that the, the experience of memories, having memories, are, are not necessary or not needed uh, for the soul to move forward. When they learn, once they get to the point, when they learn that they do not need uh, their memories, then they are freely available, then they are able, freely able to move forward. And that's going to be a joy for her to witness, witness that, that even sadness was experienced and then they still, those souls want to experience sadness, but then her joy will be to see the growth, the growth uh, for those souls and their abilities to move forward. And she is showing that, that willingness and show, showing that wanting to be in service to have those souls to move move forward. Her energy is, she's helping the ones, not, the, not to pass over, but then welcome them and showing them the, the, the healing, her energies, the, the teaching and the healing, and then welcoming souls as they pass over and helping them to settle and then helping them to move move on. She's showing me that with time, what we understand in human time, she will be moving on also and then she will be um, accessing other other information and other experiences for her soul development and then she's, she is going to be able to have the souls to develop on different levels. But right now, this is what she's showing me. It's a very loving and very humble energy, how she's showing that she is in service to the souls who pass over and still feel the sadness because of their memories. And then they are working through the attachment and once they are able to move on, then she's, she's guiding them through but they need to go to the next stage. Um, and then in that sense, what she's saying, what, what she's showing me, that do not need to wait to the point of passing and then meeting your memories and working with that frequency because that's still a dense, still dense, uh, a dense frequency. But humans, through their human lives, can already start preparing for the dimension so that when they pass, when they pass over, the, the passing over when releasing, releasing the, from the physical body, then that, that energy is not going to be attached to the soul, that the, the soul wants to hang on to its memories, earthly memories, because if there is a strong attachment to memories while on the earth plane, it's going to be strong, it's going to be the, it's still the strong, the strength, then passing over. So in that sense, humans, humanity can or might consider to work with their attachment, not being attached to memories. Okay. Um, she's not saying don't do not do that or do this or do that, but then it, the sensation is just giving a giving a, a frequency that consider that you are working on your non-attachment to what you are experiencing in your human life uh, and how you create yourself or your, your experience and your life uh, in the form of memories. Memories. Because even if you feel your memories are with you on your physical reality, you are, you are mistaken to believe that you own your memories and you have your memories. And um, yes, you can believe that the memories belong to you, but then higher dimensions, there, are, there is, it feels like there is a library where the, all the memories are being kept. Um, it's even if you fear that this, that is your personal experience and that that really belongs to you. Um, which is quite,
quite interesting. Um, within the heart, you know, within the heart, there is this cycle, cy cyclone, you know, cyclone. It's a spiral and then going down and down, down, down. Going and then going down. That is what, what she's showing. And everybody going into the heart and going deeper, going deeper. And even when we feel, or even if you feel that you need to sit by yourself within your heart, you know, when you go, when you allow yourself to be really within your heart, as long as you need to be there in that space, then be there in that space. Be there in that space. She's showing me the, the energy of, you know, that, that cycle, this cycle. It's, it's, it's not this way or, or a different way, but it's this way. It's like a... And it's going narrower and narrower. And there is one point. There is one point. And then that is... That is where we need to focus on humans. We need to focus on when we work with our heart energy. We need to focus on that, the movement, the movement, and then the purifying the heart energy. Everything, everything in our life needs to, should be, could be. That's the most important, okay? That is not word for that. But then the energy is that. That is the most important thing, that everything what we do in our life, in our life, the most important thing is that it is in one, one or on another aspect of our heart center. It is always within our heart. We are experiencing ourselves and we need to experience ourselves within our heart. If we step out of the heart, that flow of energy, then we then then we lose ourselves. That is where we lose ourselves, and it's not the heart when we are stepping out. It's not the heart energy. So we need to have we need to experience our life. We need to live our life always within the parameters of the heart, the heart energy, and then it's constant. It's constant move. It, there is this constant. Um, that is the energy, that is what, and it's not this way, out of the body, not that way, but it's this way. And it's, it's constant, and it's constant, and as long as we keep ourselves, hold ourselves within that, this parameter, that is where, where our, our um, the real meaning is, our joy is. And that energy is going to, that energy stays with the soul, because when we pass, that is the, this, this, this vortex, that is the, that, that energy, that is that, that energy, it continues to work with the soul. And because, or if, if, or when the individual is choosing to work with the heart energy, then that movement, that energy is going to be, still with the soul, always with the soul, and then the soul will recognize it, so it's not going away. The, the sensation is that when we pass, at least that's going to be immediately um, familiar, that that is the, that movement is within the heart center, but that, you know, like being in a different dimension, so it's not objectively in the heart, but then energetically, okay? But then once we, so the meaning is, if we work with our heart and within our heart parameter and we live our lives through our heart energy, heart, and we continue, continue always not improve because we don't have to improve, but we continue working with it. And when we pass over, that's going to be familiar with us because it's we have already done work with ourselves. And it means that once we pass over the work, has already started and they are able to help us immediately and then it's quick and quicker it's, they are able to help us immediately so that's that is the heart heart energy it's like it's going up and down you know it's like a spiral going up and down 
what is below is above okay that is the energy uh, that, that is the energy um, let's see if there is anything she wants to she wants to give us I think this is what we need to receive because the sensation is that now we need to work on this, what, what was given. <laughs> we need to work on this, what was given here. Um, because that's, that, that takes, or that might take t time to really grasp and understand. And within itself is a big, big conversation, like a big, like a chunk. So the invitation is that continue working on your heart center, on your heart, clearing what you what you are still hanging on to, holding on to within your heart. Allow it to go. Let it go from your heart. Let it go from your heart. Why you are here on this earth plane? Let it go from your heart. And even if you feel or think that it is painful to let it go from your heart, you do it now. You do not wait until the point of passing over because then you will meet that and then that's going to be, that's good. You want to feel the joy. You want to feel the frequency of joy, not the pain and the sadness in your heart. So you work, you let go things from your heart. Nothing to do with your mind. It is always from your heart. She believes that, that consciousness, she believes that everybody can do that. It is just how brave humans are, how brave we are. Consider opening this vortex when you work with your heart to your lower chakras, chakras, centers, lower energies, lower energies. The chakra is a confusing word. It's a confusing word. It's more of the <coughs> heart and the solar plexus. When you have worked with your heart, <coughs> when you have worked with your heart, that will give you access to the higher and then continue working with the lower. Because once you have done enough work with your heart, then you are able to expand your work from your heart to your center. And that is the next stage of what you need to experience. And in that sense, that clearing, that clearing is from, from the physical body from the front and going from the heart from the throat and from the heart and allowing the middle body as well as as well as the heart letting go and clearing what you do not need as a human first you start with your heart clearing the above ones and then going down the heart will help the center of your body to heal itself. The heart has all the solutions to what the rest of your body need when it comes to healing. First you have to have your heart strong, strong. The heart knows its function how to help the rest of your body. If you are listening right now and watching this, if you are listening, close your eyes and feel how you are cleaning and how you are present to your heart and where you feel the strength in your heart and from your heart where you feel your strength. 
if you feel the strength it's there it's already working for you if you feel the if, if you feel it in a form of a weakness then that is where you need to work but first work on your heart the heart has its own it's like her own consciousness and has everything what everything the physical body needs and every organ and every particle of a physical body needs humans need to trust the frequency of the heart much much greater than any other time before the heart for every human wants to be strong and wants to take the lead leader you know the leadership or wants to be the, the the most profound element in or organ in the physical body but not organ as such but energetically only a small percentage of people on the human um, dimension use their hearts as it really meant to be used even when talking talking about talking about it or experiencing it on the three dimension on the in the earth plane work with your heart clear clear everything what you, what is in your heart do it as a take it as a regular exercise as a daily routine that you are focusing on your heart and clearing what is what is in your heart like every day every day do a clearing in your heart every day make it make it as a regular practice to work with your heart and clear what you are what you might hang on to from the previous day not hanging on to anything you know letting letting go everything what of what we might hang on to in our heart work with this energy you know so i don't know if you are listening or watching but feel into this conversation that it's the heart we have to work with our heart my lovely friends even more than ever before <laughs> working on the attachment the whole question of attachment what was before in in our physical life what was before or what was even yesterday and continuously working on clearing and purifying the heart that's the most important place in the body to work with your frequency with our frequency it's actually really beautiful i'm going to go back and listen to this what 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 was gotten I know that there was a card about the heart here. I have to watch what was the card earlier. We got a card about that. But it's a heart, I think. The message, I feel the message is about working, working with our own heart, my lovely friends. So that is, but that's why we needed to be here to, to acknowledge this conversation. And it's quite interesting because I told you at the beginning, I thought I'm going to tell you something about the book this little little passage i read about consciousness and and, and the, the thoughts how i entertain thoughts and then i wanted to bring you five cards but i meant to do something else because immediately when i sat down i was feeling on the frank's energy now she's her energy is quieter now she stepped back because the, the conversation what she wanted to bring forward the consciousness what she wanted to bring forward was received and acknowledged and she's grateful that that was acknowledged that was acknowledged and her energy stepping back um 
And it's quite interesting because I wasn't thinking about working with her or anything like that. But immediately I was feeling that, had that sensation that, wow, okay, we will receive something. There's something what we need to acknowledge. And personally, I have to go back to the, the, the diary and find those pages. What was the page? 112, 115, 121. So if you have a copy of the, the diary of Anna Frank, look up the pages 112, 115, and 121. And then earlier, she also said from 95, from page 95, okay? So it looks like there's a little homework for all of us. <laughs> if you don't have a copy, I will let you know what it is, what that section is about. I'm going to read that. And then this energy, this energy continues because my hand is not stopping. So have to work. You know, you do the same. You work, work on your heart, you know, letting it, letting things go. And continuously, it's like a continuous that's the, the, and then you know that my sensation is that if I'm working or when I'm working with my heart energy and then I'm always in my heart and living my life and working work and looking and observing life from my heart always always then I don't have time to entertain thoughts which are not relevant not even in my physical reality okay And then it's constant because my hand is not stopping. <laughs> because my hand is not stopping. So that is the healing energy what we have received. And I was actually um, grateful that I could share it because I really felt I needed to come here and sit down and start talking. Talking about, even if I had in my mind what I wanted to talk about, but it's much greater than just me feeling it in my hand, in my mind, because it happens so many times. You know, when we feel that, oh, we need to talk about something and we start talking about something and it turns out to be something else. And it's always something much greater, nothing to do with me as a person because I'm just a channel and I just had to be here as a physical form to bring what we needed to hear right now. The energy feels very peaceful and very, very calm. And it's not my Susanna's energy, but then what I am, what I am present to just by having received this conversation. One feels very humbled, you know, humbled. And I think what she was saying, that she's not giving us more for the moment because this is what we needed to receive. And it's quite a chunky thing. It's quite a chunk, not to understand, but then to really take it into our heart and work with that, you know. So I hope you found it interesting or useful feel free to comment, feel free to share it with others you might find, if you might find it beneficial or, or interesting. Um, if you don't know the, the Anna Frank conversation, go back to, go back to um, April, was it at end of March, beginning of April, beginning of May, three or four shows on the Astro Radio Network where I read through the conversation, what she gave us exactly so that was word by word direct word by word what we received and she always speaks about wanting to teach and i think at one point she mentioned that she's she's part of a greater consciousness because the mission wants she wants to bring forward she cannot do it as one individual entity but then needed to or needs to be part of a greater consciousness to help humanity all, all the time and always and forever, always. Okay, that's the energy there. So my lovely ones, I hope that you found it interesting. I will go back and I'm going to read your messages here. I can see some questions. So it's not a live reading right now because it is what we need to, to welcome and to receive. So here we go. The energy works. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying I'm going to work with, the, work with the energy now because that is what is being received. Okay, so I'm sending you lots of love, many, many blessings and speak very, very soon. Make sure that you like, share the page, or follow my page. If you are listening on Facebook, 
click in the bottom in the corners where there's a bell so when I come live and then I when I start doing live messages then you are here if you have a personal request uh, and then find all the other uh, how you can book or how you can sign up for newsletters and things like that but I don't want to talk about this because the energy is about something else right now so this is what we need to hear share it with joy and 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 it's so so beautiful to be in service and then being in service or being part of the greater consciousness and then being here live in this very moment to be able to share it with you so uh, those who need to listen to it will receive it and will 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 hear it and will understand it and then from that point everybody can take as much as they as they wish to or as they willing to to take away within their hearts i personally will go back and listen to it again because i have already forgotten what was said <laughs> so i have to go back uh, that's my that's my job so here we go sending you lots of love and many many blessings and i'm grateful that we are here and we have shared the space thank you sending you lots of love bye <laughs>